I think diversity is important for, for two key reasons. Um, first of all, from a moral perspective, I think there's an obligation on society to listen and engage with people um, and their opinions uh, from all walks of life, irrespective of their gender, uh, their sexual preference, their nationality or their religious beliefs, for example. I think the other key reason why diversity is important is because the resources sector competes on a global scale. Um, it's important that we listen to um, all of the employees in the resources sector um, so we can tap into the creativity and the innovation of all the employees so Queensland resource companies can, can continue to succeed into the future. I think there are many um, key factors that drive diversity in the workplace, but I'd like to think that there are probably two foundation elements. One is effective leadership. Um, the diversity agenda has to be driven by uh, the executive. The executive sets the tone for the business and sets the culture uh, for the business. It provides the resourcing and the support for the diversity and inclusion uh, teams within the, the business. So I think that's absolutely essential, effective leadership. The second key thing is actually taking action. Um, Organisations need to have a diversity action plan and a strategic plan uh, and those actions need to be practical and tangible so that they can be embedded across the organisation. Um, talk is cheap, so what we need to do is actually have things that happen on the ground. So in Worley Parsons, for example, we have a series of lunch and learns. We have a leading practices forum on diversity and inclusion. We have a diversity and inclusion scholarship, for example, um, that enables us to continue have, continually having those conversations about diversity so that it becomes embedded within the organisation. My vision for gender diversity in the resources sector is very simple. Uh, my vision is that there is 100% uh, equality between genders um, and in people who work in the resources sector and that there is absolutely zero discrimination based on gender in the resources sector. Um, similarly, just like we have safety as core business for all of our resource companies, then I'd like to see in years to come uh, that gender equality is core business for our resource companies as well. My advice to other companies on how to improve diversity, I guess um, there's several key things, about five I would suggest that are absolutely essential. Uh, the first is that the leadership structure has to have buy-in and has to support diversity as a key strategic objective. Um, secondly, organisations need to have a strategic plan and an action plan around diversity, otherwise, you know, things can't get measured and things don't get, um, uh, there's no outcome associated with your actions over the year. I think thirdly, diversity needs to move out from the people group and the HR group uh, where it tra traditionally resides to becoming embedded within the organisation for real change to occur. Uh, fourthly, I think having tangible practical actions that continue the conversation across the business is absolutely essential. So things like in celebrating International Women's Day is, is fantastic. Um, and I think fifthly, uh, the key thing is don't be afraid of making mistakes. Um, it's a journey, there's lots of support out there uh, and you know you will make mistakes and but that is no excuse for not actually driving an agenda that includes diversity and embedding that within your organisation.